On May 20th, 2021, first released a bunch of information regarding the 2021-2022 FLL season. Now it's time to break down the posted video and pictures. Here's the video for those who haven't seen it yet. Let's start this breakdown with a little bit of background information. Over the past couple of seasons, we've started to notice a pattern. Each season, there is one specific colored Lego piece that represents the action part of the mission. In Replay, it was lime green pieces, and in City Shaper, it was blue pieces. This season, we believe that the action color will be yellow. So, with that out of the way, let's break down all the missions on next season's field. We will be going left to right in order to keep things organized. Let's start off with this mission in the upper left hand corner. We are calling this mission the Cargo Dropper, as in the video we see the green flap moving downward and see the grey cargo piece drop out. Throughout the video we see many boxes similar to these grey boxes being used in all different ways. We assume that these boxes will be the main game piece, just like the buildings in City Shaper, and the health units in Replay. The yellow axle makes us think that the robot will have to pull down on the bar in order to release the cargo. Next, we move on to this mission opposite of the previous one. We are calling it the plane mission. Here, you can see the orange plane sitting in its docked position. In the video, you can see the plane shoot out of its current spot. Later on in the video, we get a shot where we can see the mission along with another one beside it with similar design. Instead of an airplane, we see that this one has a small garbage truck. Based on the diagonal yellow beams behind the plane and the truck, we can assume that the robot must push or press down on the yellow beams in order to launch the vehicles. Next, we move on to the mission right here. Here, we see a dual-colored barrel. It starts off in the gray position, but when it's flipped, the barrel becomes blue. Again, based on the yellow beam we see here, we are assuming that the robot will have to flip the barrel in order to get points. Then, we move on to the truck mission in the middle of the field. At the start of the video, we can see one truck on the field. But on the top-down view of the table, we notice that there is a second one in home base. Later on in the video, we see the two trucks connected via a loop on the second truck. We are guessing that the robot will have to connect the two trucks by pushing them together. On top of the trucks, we also see another few cargo boxes, making us think that this will be one of the spots where you can put them in order to earn extra points. The next mission we see is what we are calling the draw bridge. In the video, we see the bridge in the down position like this, and then slowly raise into the up position, like seen here. We think that the robot will have to lift both sides of the bridge in order to score points for this mission. The next mission is the biggest one on the table. We are calling it the cargo ship mission. First we get a front on picture where we can see a yellow platform with another cargo piece on it. Because of the yellow platform, we think that this will be another place to put all of the cargo pieces. We then get a side view from the video where we can see that the blue crane can move back and forth on the beams it sits on. We also see another piece of cargo hanging from the crane, reminding us of City Shaper where teams had to release a block from the crane. Next we see this orange frame on the bottom right area of the table. This is shown in the video holding three pieces of cargo. Again, another spot where teams will be able to place cargo to get points. 
Based on the artwork around it, we think that this mission represents a warehouse. Finally, we get to a mission we have seen before. Earlier this year, Hearst released a teaser and this is one of the missions that were shown. The mission depicts a front door. The goal for teams is to place the package on the front door. Another mission that is shown quite a bit is the helicopter mission. Here we can see it in a better view. We see that there is a small package dropping from the helicopter. Earlier in the video, we can see a robot driving up to the mission. We again see the yellow piece at the bottom of the mission indicating that the robot must hit it to release the yellow box from the helicopter. And finally, we get to the mission on the very right hand side of the field. This picture shows the cargo train that is sitting on the rails. Again, there is cargo on the train, meaning that this is another spot where teams can put the cargo. One thing we noticed in the picture of the field is that the track for the train is interrupted. We think that in order to complete this mission, teams will have to flip down the track in order to push the train across fully. Now let's move on to some missions where we are not exactly sure what they are. This right here is the spot where the chicken stands. We have a pretty good picture of the chicken, but we aren't exactly sure what to do with it yet. And finally, here are more things on the map that we have little coverage of. On the left, we see a pretty large white object. We aren't sure what this is, but someone on our team suggested that it may be the wing to one of those large windmills. Next is the collection of random pieces in home base. Again, we have no clue what these will be used for. And finally, the little blue thing at the bottom of the table. We have no idea what this will be used for, so if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. What do you think of this season's theme and the missions that were shown? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. See you again in August for the season kickoff. Best of luck to all teams next season.